in her shoes. Goodbye, Josie. You should have given them the stupid shoes. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting me and through all these years since Nashville Star. I cannot believe I won album of the year. I was totally shocked um, just to be part of that and be in that category and to actually take the trophy home is amazing. And it's because fans in the industry have just really accepted me for who I am. And I just want to say thank you. Vegas was a blast and I'll see you next year. foundation I just started. It's called Let Nation Foundation. And basically it's just a place where I wanted um, all the funds for all the benefits and, and shows we've been doing to raise money for our local shelters. I want to expand and go nationwide and um, have all the money in my control so I can go physically touch and feel and see what where my money's going and where your money's going. Because um, I don't always trust sending a check to somewhere on TV. So this is just a way for me to be really hands-on and, and um, and loving the animals is my first is my first reason for even starting the foundation. Um, I have six rescue dogs myself, and there's a there's just a huge need for adoption. So I always encourage people to do the adoption option. And you can check out more information at MirandaLambert.com or MyNationFoundation.com. <laughs> Hey, I'm Miranda Lambert. My cause is Met Nation Foundation. Um, started it in 2009 to raise money to give to shelters to help uh, help them function well, help them do more drops and drives, more spay and neuter, give them the amenities to stay open longer and and eventually become no kill is what we would hope for the whole nation. But um, we're doing really well, and we would love any donation ever because it all goes to a really great place. I have a my personal hand in where the money goes, which I love. So um, it's MuttNationFoundation.com, and we also have a Facebook page. So go to MuttNationFoundation.com and like us on Facebook. Straight memory is when I was on tour with George. Um, I was 22, and my dad was on the road with us, and um, I had gotten a tattoo, and it ruffled my dad's feathers pretty good, and he was really, really mad. Um, so we rode the same bus together on the straight tour, and so we had to wear, I had to wear long sleeves for two weeks, and he wouldn't talk to me. And um, the last day of the tour, before the end of tour picture. George had apparently heard about all this and sent out for uh, 75 stick-on tattoos. And when we took our group picture, everyone that was in the photo, which was like 60 people, rolled up their sleeve and they all had a tattoo exactly where my tattoo was, even my dad. So I have to thank George for helping me get back to talking to my father again after I got my horrid, hideous tattoo. So thanks, George, for mending our relationship. <laughs>
What's the matter? Daddy, you've got to go to work. Hurry, Daddy, hurry. Oh, my gosh, I must have forgotten. What time is it? It's 